things I had to get off of it. God knows all about it. He knows about it. He knows about it. Whatever it is. I still feel in my heart there's somebody here that needed to pray this morning. But that's, that's between you and God. It's going to be praying that you might be obedient tonight. There's some among us that need a Savior. The ones I want to pray for. Oh, yeah, I just want to thank my church for praying for me. For me. It don't matter. It don't matter what. It's in the gas hour. Yeah, I might say that I'm too little. We just stopped beginning of this week, that beautiful sunshine that God let us see this morning. And that won't compare to what we can feel with the house. One accepted him tonight. As their personal sacred. They don't want to go to school tomorrow. They don't want to go to work. They don't want to call everybody they yeah. know and say it. Yeah. Yeah. What happened to them? Yeah. 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 Let's, Let's pray. Yeah, boy. Let's pray. Yeah, it will. 
thankful for the hour tonight that he's allowed me to come out to his house and thankful for the freedom of worship, being able to come and worship the Lord and thankful for all the prayers that went out for me and and as Paul was singing that song, I couldn't help but remember my mama praying for me and my grandma praying for me and my, my brothers and sisters praying for me and it's not by anything that I've done but by the grace of God, he heard their cry. Yes, he is. He is. And I've come to worship tonight. That's all I can do. I can't save anybody as bad as I want to see them come. But I've come to worship. And God will give me increases as long as I do what I have to do. Amen. Amen. God bless your heart.
watch him suffer. Why did this happen to us? And uh, his mama was praying, and she's like, God, you give me the baby, I give me back to you. Come on. And Bless she said, please, you're shaking, you give me back. And uh, I was still sitting there just in myself, kind of not mad at God, not upset, but, you know, question, human question, I guess. Yeah. And then, um, uh, they started giving him his medicine to help him go on. And uh -huh. my dad walked out the door to try to help him a little bit. And I knew it was getting real close. So I went and got my dad. And I said, Dad, he's fixing to go. And uh, he took his last breath as my dad was walking in. And um, my dad said, he said, oh, boy, what you just see? Yeah. <laughs> Bless your Lord. And I thank God to give my dad the peace of letting Nathan you know, know that he went on just a better place. Bless your Lord. <laughs> Bless your Lord. <laughs> Bless your Lord. My dad's already preaching in there. Bless your Lord. Uh, all that sadness yeah. that was going on in my heart. Is he? I looked up to you, Dad. <laughs> what kind of pastor you are to me. What kind of friend you are to me. What kind of dad you are to me. That's hey, special. Man. I'll never, ever, ever forget it, ever. Bless your Lord. I want you to know I looked up to you and Mom so much. Yeah. And I want you to know that I'm saved. <laughs> you just don't ever have to worry about me either. Bless your Lord. Bless your Lord. Bless your Lord.
song says, I just realized that I'm the one. You know, there's a six-year-old boy. I sat on the back row of Carter Hall Baptist Church. I realized I was the one that he came and died for. I was the one that he came and shed his life's blood for. I was the one that he walked up the hill and then being beaten. He threw it all there and just for me. I was the one. Maybe you're here tonight and you realize just tonight that you're the one. Don't turn it away because I'm telling you, you may have just realized it. But you can get saved right now. But because of that, that Sunday morning, I fell under conviction. And it was just a moment later that he saved my soul. And he can do the same for you. And that's the night. But don't turn him away. My brother Mike was singing a song today. He says, I can't get excited about this world. I'm glad that I can't get excited about it. Uh, but there's a place, Marty, uh, that I've never been to. Uh, yeah. But man, I'm so excited to go. Uh, go. The Bible tells me that I've got a mansion waiting on me. Yeah. Uh, but I ain't worried about that mansion. They can just give me an old cardboard box. Uh, because I don't believe uh, that I'm going to be going there a whole lot anyhow. I'm just going to be doing them uh, at my Savior's feet. Uh, just thanking him uh, uh, for saving me. Tonight, let's just praise him that but he's worthy of that. But if somebody already said, let's praise him, the Bible teaches me that if we lift up his name and he draw all men to him, but so let's lift him up tonight and let's let him just draw those that's lost to him and just pray that they just be willing and have to be saved. But we can't save them, no, but we can make it a little easier on them. You say, how do you do that, preacher? Just by being obedient. Just by turn loose. I just about sat here and just now let Satan steal and let my joy and I let him steal my blessing. I'm going to just take that on death. You ain't going to defeat me tonight. You've defeated me this morning, but you ain't going to defeat me tonight. So church, I'm sorry. I was the one that entered the service this morning. So let's tonight just praise him and lift up his name because he's worthy. And then I was down here praying and I told him, Lord, if all you've done for me was save me and leave me right there, I still have to live for you. But he's done so much more for us. He's blessed us more than we'll ever deserve. And he's blessed us with a place to come and worship Him. And so we can grow and we can praise His name. Listen to that. A preacher friend of mine was talking and there ain't a whole lot of churches left. There's a bunch of buildings and people gather together. But there's a place here that we should hold special and thank God what we have here for the love, for the Spirit, for the Spirit, for the freedom. But most of all, for Jesus Himself. Come and buy and see it about us. Amen. And he does it every time that we walk through the door. That we are just willing to say, Lord, here am I. Send me. Lord, here am I. Use me. Maybe the night you're here, when the Lord's told you to do something, get off your seat and do it tonight. Praise Him tonight. He is worthy. He is, and that worthy of our praise tonight. He is, and that our everything tonight. Listen, I don't know how people go up through things in this life without Him. Listen, I ain't tell you this, and that's a concern for me. I'm you knowing that. And then right before Christmas, I lost my mom. And I thought, Lord, how do people go through this without that comforter, without that one like coming by and seeing about us, without that Holy Spirit and saying, you know what? They're all right. They're in my hands. They're in my feet worshiping me. We should praise Him tonight. And we've got a better place to go to. And that I'm glad. And this ain't the best it gets for me. This ain't the best it gets for me. But if you're lost tonight, this is the best it'll get for you. It only gets worse for you if you die in your condition. But if I die tonight, it gets better for me because I've been born again. And it was nothing that I've done. 
It was not me being worthy because I was not. Uh, but it was through mercy and grace that he saw fit to come by on that back pew and corner hold and just knock and say, let me in. And it was through his mercy and grace that I had enough faith just to open the door and let him in. And all I had to do was turn this. All I had to do was look at mom and say, I need to go get saved. I need to go get saved. And somewhere between the, me saying that and getting up off the altar, my heart cried out and he saved my soul. It's that simple, God. Just say, Lord, I need it. And you know what he'll do? He'll carry you back to the altar. You'll get up and you'll say, thank you, Lord, for saving me. And you can say, this ain't the best it gets for me. I'm thankful not that this world will get me excited. Now no. this world, man, ain't got nothing for me. But I've got a longing and that to go. And then I believe every once in a while, Brother Mike, if you look in my eyes, you can see that homesick feeling. Because of that, there was a God that loved me enough to send his only begotten son so that I could have life in heaven more than me. So that I could have and have a place in heaven. But so that I could have eternal life. But it wasn't just for me. I'm so thankful he said for whosoever. And that tonight, become a whosoever. And just let him save you tonight. Don't turn him away. Listen, man. I'm just going to go ahead and be bold. There's been services and that. That he's come by and he's knocked on your heart's door. He's knocked upon your heart's door. And you know who I'm talking to tonight. You know who I'm talking to tonight. I don't know who it is. But you and the Lord knows tonight. He's come by and he's knocked up on your heart's door. Listen, man. I usually don't look at people when I'm preaching. But tonight the Lord gave me boldness and a look at you and tell you that he's knocked on your heart's door. Don't turn it away tonight because mercy will run out and hell will be your home if you turn it away. I don't turn it away tonight. I don't come because Travis is up preaching because I don't care who's up here preaching as long as it's in the spirit and the truth. But come because he's standing at your heart and knocking on your heart. I can stand before you and say, it ain't my heart. He's knocking that morning. He knocked on my heart one day. And I answered that door. And I let him in. He's standing at your heart tonight. And knocking at your heart. Just open it up. And just let him in tonight. I promise you. And he will not turn you away. If he's standing there knocking. He will not no. turn you away tonight. He will, and that I give you everything that you need. So just come tonight and get what you need tonight. And that just come and that it's just uh, just come boldly into the throne of God and just let Him save you tonight. Lord, they just step out and not go. Just step out on that little measure of faith and I go to your gate. God, just let you be saved, God. Lord, I know, God, it's your heart. I know, God, it's your desires to save us. I just pray that our God may be willing to be saved. We be ask for these favors. We pray for these favors. In your name, Jesus. In your name, Lord, thank you, Jesus. And you, and I, Lord, more abundantly. And Lord, to sing more praise. Lord, thank you, God, Lord, for being the God. Lord, that's the God. Here he comes. Your heart is knocking at you. Scott, is it your heart he's knocking at? Amen. Tiffany Edgerton, is it your heart? You sure you've got to use You're on your way to work. Oh, that wisdom not. Did he really knock at your heart? Is he knocking the night? Amen. He's not knocking their heart, but it's your heart that he's knocking at. Just come to it tonight. Will, 
I've heard you get up here and preach. This is your heart is not going to answer.
where I'm going. I've had the awfulest day in the past two weeks. I've seen some of my friends from church today, and I just broke down on them so bad. And I just want to thank God for my friends that come to meet with me at the church. I've tried my best to get here. Everything happened. This was happening. That was happening. I said, God, why? Why do you find this happening to me to go to church? I'm wanting to go, you know. And I just sit down and thought, you know, maybe it's not for me this morning. Maybe it's not for me to calm down and listen to his voice like everybody else is listening, you know. I, I try to be strong for everybody else, but I couldn't be strong for myself too much today. And I've had a really bad day, but I'm glad I made it back tonight. I went to the clinic to come out sick again. I said, well, I'm going on to church. I don't care, you know, it ain't nothing to take, so. I said, I'm going on to church and go on my, you know, suck it up like a buttercup and go on, you know, but it could be worse. And uh, I just want y'all to pray that I can get rid of this bacteria that's inside me. I've had it for two weeks and it's really starting to get on my nerves and be hospitalization next. And uh, it brings you down a little bit. But things like that happen in your life and then you think about other people that's had it worse, you know, and uh, you think, why are you being such a child? Why are you whining so much? Look at these people that's lost people and that's sicker than you, you know, and uh, God gives us those uh, valleys to have those mountains to uh, appreciate what we got in life and uh, I think it's what I needed this week because I got so depressed staying at home and not getting any church in and uh, the one that I didn't want to be here just was sick and I couldn't come, you know, and uh, so I just wanted to say you know, just pray for me to help me uh, mess me up when I'm down a little bit because he gets me sometimes. I try to act strong and act like that never bothers me, but but today I had to let it go. And I love everybody here. And if I've ever, ever hurt anybody, I, I promise I'll make it right with you. I love you. And I'm sorry. Hey, you won't hear no fair preaching. What we get tired of.
thank the Lord that he's with me even in my weakest time. Amen, brother. God bless your heart.
Done what I came to do. Me too, I think these kids have done what they came to do. Yeah.